In the newer version of DaVinci Resolve, we have this brand new feature called multi-merge. It can be found in the Fusion page right next to the regular merge node. Now, the idea of a multi-merge node is to combine all the foregrounds using just one node instead of using multiple merge nodes like you normally would see in a traditional type of Fusion compositing. So what I did here, guys, is to replicate this same effect but using traditional uh, merge nodes, as you can see, instead of using just one multi-merge node, I will have to use four different merge nodes to come up with the same effect. So this is definitely a huge draw for using multi-merge and a very much like merge node, when you click into a multi-merge node, you will see a set of controls uh, for your foreground. Now, all these controls are the same, but depending on which layer or which foreground that you click, uh, in the layer list, these controls will apply changes to only that particular foreground. And that brings me to the first thing I want to discuss is the fact that a multi-merge node has just one background, but you can add as many foregrounds as you like. In comparison, when using merge node, you can have various sets of backgrounds and also foregrounds. Because of this difference, when you apply the same changes uh, in the multi-merge node and may or may not uh, be able to produce the same look uh, if you were to do them in the merge node. So to demonstrate, let's come to the text layer, the text foreground here, and we're gonna go to apply mode, change it to geometric. Now you will see this is the look that we're getting. Now if we were to move over to the right and let's say we go to merge two, which has the text node as a foreground, we apply the same set of changes you will see that now we're getting a slightly different look. And if we were to revert this change, unless I come to merge three instead and apply the same set of change, you will see that we still are not getting the same look. So the key takeaway here, guys, is that the same control, depending on whether you use them in the merge node or the multi-merge node, uh, may or may not necessarily produce the same effect. Another thing to keep in mind here is that the multi-merge node has just one mask input, which will affect all the foregrounds connected uh, to it. So what we're gonna do is to bring a ellipse masking node and we're going to connect it to this uh, multi-merge node uh, here. And as you will see, this is going to affect all the foregrounds that are currently connected uh, to this multi-merge node. Now there is a workaround, which is to connect an individual masking node uh, to each individual foreground, but that may not necessarily always be the best solution. If we were to move over to the right, you will see that now we have the ability to apply a masking node to each individual uh, merge node. And depending on which merge node you connect the masking node to, you now have the ability to control different foregrounds as part of this entire composition. The next thing I want to discuss here is that when you right click the multi-merge node in the menu, you have the ability to swap inputs. Now, you also have the exact same command in the merge node, but in the multi-merge node, the background always, always gets swapped with the same foreground. And it's always the foreground that got connected to this multi-merge node when you first started compositing. I'm not sure why the system chose that as the default, but that's how it is. Now, if we were to move over to the right, you now have the ability to execute that same command in any of these uh, merge nodes. And depending on which merge node you go to and swap inputs, you will get a different look, different effect. So this is another example where the merge node will give you a little bit more flexibility. And last but definitely not the least, in the multi-merge node, you don't have the ability to control all these foregrounds at the same time. Now let's click into multi-merge node. All these controls, as you can see, will apply changes to just that layer or uh, that foreground. Now, if you were to, let's say, come over uh, to the right, and uh, if you were to, let's say, go to the three merge nodes up top, yes, granted all these controls will also apply changes to just that particular foreground. But let's say if we were to come to the merge node at the bottom here, you now see we have the ability to make changes to all these foregrounds at the same time. So what this means is that in reality, there's still a good chance you will need to use merge node quite often. And there's a very good chance that you probably need to use both multi-merge and merge node at the same time. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial helps. And as always, I will see you next time.